um what are the what is it called so 30 thousand divided by 12 oh and welcome back to my channel alert to tell a tale if you are new here my last video was um, part 1 of study abroad slash study in ireland and i told you guys that if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section below so that if there's anything important then i'll take it up in this video so looks like there's nothing that i probably miss so i am going to straight away jump into part 2 of this video I will start with giving you an overview of the expenses that you will incur after moving to Ireland. Uh these are going to be uh, rough figures but I will give you definite figures and uh, a proper breakdown of it as and when they are covered. So a quick recap of what we spoke in the last video. We talked about the criteria that a particular student has to meet to get an admission in uh, a university here to specifically pursue their MSc. So the first one is English test the second one is um little bit of uh, internship or work experience and the third one is good grades in their bachelors um in the previous video i only talked about ielts because that's the exam that i had given but there are a couple of more options that i'm going to talk about today most of the universities accept the uh, ielts english test universities also accept uh, pte and toefl There's another one called Duolingo that is like a temporary arrangement. That's the COVID-19 arrangement that has been set up currently. I'm not sure if uh, this is going to be continued, but I will update you as and when I get updated. If you are going through a consultancy, um, they will guide you which of these English tests are you supposed to pick from uh, for the particular university that you are trying to apply to. But if you are doing this all by yourself if you're applying all by yourself then i would suggest that please please double check uh, on the university website because so it's going to give you the most specific information i think it's very important for you to know that um, how much you are going to invest uh, in accommodation apart from the expenses that you're going to spend uh, on the university fee and stuff like that so today i'm also going to talk to you about accommodation both temporary and permanent accommodations so i will start with talking about temporary accommodation if you are coming to ireland all by yourself after you um get your admission after you book your flights if you are somebody who's coming all by yourself then i would suggest that you give yourself quite a big uh time frame to find yourself an accommodation here because specifically in dublin the accommodation is quite tight you might take some or more time to find permanent accommodation i would suggest that book yourself a temporary accommodation at least for 15 days be it a hostel in dublin or a uh, student accommodations there are student accommodations they are like hostels but a bit more uh, equipped than hostels it depends really upon how many people are going to share the room with you the price Uh, to live in a hostel starts from 15 euros and then there's no end to it um student accommodation is specifically for students you like have a study area and stuff like that you um i will drop the links in the description below just in case you want to check out a few pictures and stuff uh you can also book yourself uh, an airbnb if you are not coming alone if you're coming with a group of friends or if you have tagged along with somebody um who you know is also moving to the same place and if you're a group then the cost can be split so definitely a booking uh, an airbnb can help you also have a uh, college accommodation um like it's like a hostel within your university campus usually they are uh, comparatively very expensive to what you'll be paying uh, by living outside on your own uh, for example like i said my rent is 550 for a four sharing but when you live uh, but if i would have chosen to live uh, in my hostel in my university hostel then i would be paying 950 euros per month but it is not a sharing room it's like your you have the room all by yourself it's actually a, it's it's totally up to you it's your choice if you think that you need to live all by yourself you're comfortable with yourself you're not comfortable with uh, you know living with other people 
then you can totally uh, wish to afford it but i am telling you that there are other options as well you can find yourself a student accommodation even outside your university that is not going to be as expensive as you will be uh, affording it within your university since you're going to be new into this country you don't know that the course you're getting into or the university you're getting into are you going to make friends are there going to be a lot of people uh, from different parts of the world um coming and sitting along with you you need to make friends if you're uh, very specific about getting that sort of an exposure of getting um in touch with people from different parts of the world staying with them living with them going out with them and stuff like that then yes college accommodation is a very good option a lot of us or i also did not choose to do that because i did not want to um spend that extra money i would have rather spend that on myself the rents in dublin are comparatively expensive as compared to the rest of the cities in ireland be it cork limerick or uh, galway um the rent of your apartment is going to take away a big chunk of whatever you're earning or whatever you're picking from home so the rents can range from 350 per month to 700 euros i am paying 550 euros ever since i've come here i have moved into a permanent accommodation it's been almost 2 years and i have i have been paying um 550 a month usually the landlords ask for a one month deposit just like it works in india you have to give a one month deposit and then pay your rent as well so there are three factors that determine your rent one is the number of people you are sharing it with to the location in which you choose to take an apartment it can be close to your university close to the city center or it can be less if you are going a little outskirts and the third factor is amount of furniture that's available in the apartment like a few people give you the whole cutlery they give you toaster they give you water kettle a few people don't give you anything you need to arrange your own bed you need to arrange your own uh, kitchen cutlery and stuff like that so it really depends the rent is low when such things are not available or if you're sharing it with too many people that's when the rent is low i would also suggest you to take full advantage of the google maps if you need me to suggest to you specific areas where you are going to find houses um, good places to live then please let me know in the comment section below i would be more than happy to help you i will respond to your questions i can suggest you the areas then if i have any contacts or if i can link you up with anybody i know who's looking for a flatmate then i will do that too so uh, renting an apartment uh, works differently here it's not like india here if you like an apartment that's not enough the landlord also has to equally like you if you um i'm going to give you a list of rental listing um websites so the first one is daft.ie this is the most used rental listing website the second one is rent.ie and um, the third is a, a very good option it's the facebook accommodation groups i think you should join such groups if you're planning to move to any country every country has its own um, accommodation groups there are a lot of specific indian specific groups on facebook i would suggest you to get yourself enrolled in that like join these groups to be updated uh, to get to know whenever there are vacancies uh, that somebody is posting it's just like um, Uh, flat and flatmates that works in india it's just like one of those you can look for properties that are closer to your college then that has easy access to public transport that is close to city center if you want it to be very vibrant um if you have any questions in relation to these um and you're planning to come to dublin and you're due to come to dublin by the end of this year then you can contact me i will be more than happy to personally uh, guide you through this after you move here your expenses are going to be the first and foremost one is going to be your monthly rent then it is going to be your house deposit then your monthly bills that include grocery internet bill uh, electric and gas bill then your expenses are also going to include if you want to entertain yourself on weekends which you will have plenty of time to do so like i said the rent is going to take up uh, somewhere from 350 to 700 out of the chunk uh, of the money that you're going to be earning or picking from home your monthly bills can be bracketed anywhere between 200 to 300 euros and then going to pubs movies and uh, just going around and can cost you anywhere between 30 to 50 euros a month so i am going to tell you my expenses 
I'm not going to give you, give out exact figures because it really varies from month to month. It was different when I was in college. It is different when I got into my part time job, and it's different now in the times of COVID. So. approximately i would pick up at least 800 to 900 euros a month from home and i would end up spending 700 to 800 euros and i would be left with 100 or 200 euros every month this is going to be like a rough figure so talking about return on investment uh i will keep it as simple as it can get i am not going to complicate uh this for anybody Uh, I am not going to give you all big figures of how much you are investing, then adding them all up and telling that this is the amount you are going to be spending, and then how many years you will work to get to this amount. No, I am going to make it very simple. Your return on investment is going to be good. Like you don't have to think twice about any day because of the currency difference that you have between India and Europe or India and any other country that you are going to study in uh, is going to make you. earn a lot more than what you had spent there is something called graduate salary this is for those of you who do not know what it is a uh, graduate salary is the basic amount that you will be uh, earning when you get into a job after your masters so the graduate salary according to uh, gradisland.com is 30000 euros per year meaning you are going to earn 2500 euros every month so most organizations follow this rule if you get into a big organization a reputed organization if you have just got graduated and gotten your masters degree you are bound to be paid this much so imagine if i get into an organization and if i am earning 30000 per annum meaning i am going to get 2500 paid every month 2500 me se agar mai 550 apna rent nikal du और 200 से 300 अपने खर्चे निकाल लू तो मेरे पास बहुत सारा बच रहा है दैट वे ऑल ऑफ दिस कैन बी यूज टू क्लियर द लोन दैट यू हैव टेकन बैक इन इंडिया सो योर रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज गोइंग टू बी प्रिटी हाई सो यू डोंट हैव टू बी ऑन डबल माइंड वेन इट कम्स टू डिसाइडिंग ऑन choosing another country for paying your bills back at home. I will give you a quick takeaway from this video. Um It's completely your choice to where you want to live, how much money you want to spend and uh if you want to uh if you need a break on your weekends or no, make a wise choice. I am going to help you as much as I can. You can um ask me questions, you can take suggestions since I am living here, I have practical experience. Uh so I will be able to give you um like a real time uh suggestion on what it's going to be like so initially it's going to be a lot of conversion like you're going to become a living calculator every euro you spend you are going to multiply it into 80 and see how much uh did you spend in indian currency but guys believe me in a month or two you're going to get used to it after a point when you actually start if you get lucky enough to secure a part time job for yourself uh in in the initial first 6 months the amount that's going to come in from your part time job is going to make you feel very comfortable of the way you're living initially you know initially you might feel like itne lakh kharch kar rahe hain hum indian currency mein indian currency mein convert karke dekhoge to guilty feel hoga but i'm telling you you have to have patience thode mahino ke liye patience rakho and then money is going to come in so um don't stress yourself and think ki itna investment laga raha hu kuch wapas aayega ya nahi aayega acha khasa wapas aayega uh, believe me acha khasa wapas aayega but yes that is that is it so that is all for today guys if you like my video then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe bahut sare log subscribe nahi kar rahe please subscribe kijiye main itna research karke aapko bata rahi hu apna personal experience bata rahi hu please 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 subscribe uh, don't forget to hit on the bell icon to get a notification every time i post a new video if you guys have any questions then please please drop a comment in the comment section below i will be more than happy to help you it could be about studying in ireland or it could be anything in relation to studying abroad anywhere on earth um you can also drop your questions 
on my instagram my instagram handle is 09 i'm available there 24 7 you can drop a question there and i will be happy to answer whatever i've talked about in this video if there are any links in relation to whatever i have spoken that i know of i'm going to drop them all in there so you can just scroll down uh click on them directly and get whatever information you want so please stay tuned for the rest of the parts i am going to make this in parts in the coming few weeks this was part two next one is going to be about a new topic altogether so stay tuned to find out what is next see you bye, -bye. no bloopers today i started to get comfortable with the cameras i'm not making any mistakes i do make mistakes but they're not as much as before so sorry